MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Chicago White Sox and the Detroit Tigers. First now, pitch coming your way next. 2024 Detroit Tigers. All right, just about set to go. And on the hill, Brennan Hanafy. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of, you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. The pitch. Now a drag bunt, third base side, and foul ball. Kicks and deals. Gets a piece and it stays 0 and 2. Goes down looking. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting the ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Zach Deloach with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Man at first. Now the left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. Rudder takes off. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Strike two. And that just misses. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Hanafy over to first, and he dives back in safely. Deloach stands at first with one out. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Andrew Vaughn now. Trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Rudder takes off. Pitch in for a strike. Safe at second with a stolen base. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get into scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ballgame. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. Man at second. Fastball for a strike. And a count is 0-2. And, and at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Kicks and fires. That misses the zone. And the count is 1-2. And that's outside. Recognize that change up right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. 
Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. And we're back. And on the hill, the lefty, Jared Schuster. And singing a special day for him. He's making his major league debut here. And I'm sure he's got some nerves. He'll be excited for that first pitch to be in and over with so that he can settle in to pitching just like he did in the minor leagues. Exciting moment. He's got his family in town. I think this moment's going to be a huge tone setter for his career. Leading off, Andy Abanez. Looking for his first big league hit right here. As the lefty gets to work. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. The wind and the pitch. Outside. And it's 2-0. There's the strike at the knees. Next pitch is outside. And he deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The pitch. And a base hit up the middle. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Andy Abanez with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Stepping in, Matt Veerling. Off the mark there, and it's 1-0. Veerling batting second in today's lineup, and he was a fifth-round pick back in 2018. The pitch. That one missed. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. There's a strike. Now it's belted. Deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. And it gives him the lead in the first. It's 2 nothing. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Here's Riley Green. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. To the right side, Sosa. One gone, bottom half of the first. Batting four. And now the Tigers line up for manager A.J. Hinch. Singy, this team seems to be snake bitten this year, bouncing into the most double plays in the league. And it's, you know, really just kind of a rally killer. I mean, a huge stumbling block when you're talking about trying to get the offense going. And, you know, that makes this lineup frustrating to watch because you know they'd be scoring a bunch of runs if they didn't come unglued and just hack at all those pitchers' pitches and hit into those double plays. You've got to do a better job. And if they want to win today, they're going to have to improve in that area. And 
And there's a foul ball. There's a 1 1. And that one fouled off. One down, base is empty. Way upstairs, and the count's even at two. Bounced out to short, Lopez. Out, number two. Batting fifth, the right fielder, Wenzel. Two outs, base is empty. Wenzel Perez now at the plate. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. And there's a ball. Two out spaces empty. That clips the zone, and that's strike one. And another ball. That's hard hit on the line. And that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And his first big league hit is a double. Wenzel Perez with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So digging in, Spencer Torkelson. That one's in there, going one. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. And now the lefty. Hard ground ball base knock. Headed for the plate. The throw in. It's off the mark and he scores. It's three zip. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock. And he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat. And it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. So two down. Next up, it's the first year shortstop, Trey Sweeney. Just missed. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Lee makes the play. And that is the third out of the inning. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. We move on to the second here at Comerica. It's the Tigers three, and the White Sox nothing. Top of the second, and here's the first baseman, Gavin first Sheets. Baseman. Gavin. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And that one clips the corner. A 3-0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game.
And the righty deals. On the ground to third. One up, one down. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Batting fifth. The second and here is Sosa and to the plate. Sosa. That one's in there. Strike one. Well, a good first pitch change up there. In order to be effective, you've got to really sell it. Good arm speed, and it's got to be down in the zone. In the air, center field. Meadows makes the grab, and there's two down. Batting seven. The third baseman. Two outs, base is empty. Brian Ramos steps to the plate for the White Sox. And first offering is fouled off. And a good eye there. He swings and fouls one off. The White Sox trailing by three here at the top of the second. Caught him looking for the K. One, two, three, go the White Sox. They trail it here, three nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. Now here's the Detroit catcher, Jake Rogers. And Chris, his big strength is defense, but it is interesting. In today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus, but he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. I think the other component is putting down the finger that the pitcher wants to throw and being on the same page, and that's something that this guy does really well, gets in sync with his pitchers. Here's the 0 2. That's down and in. Boog, his preparation is off the charts. I was down in the clubhouse today trying to find him just to pick his brain a little bit. He's so buried in that video room, it's hard to get a chance to talk to him. That one, 95 to finish him off. And now, Parker Meadows. That misses, 1-0. and oh. One down, base is empty. And that one is lifted in the air. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there are two outs. Now batting second baseman, Andy. Andy Abanez up now for the Tigers. He led off the bottom of the first with a single and then came in to score. That one ripped. That's a fair ball and it's getting into the corner. Around first, heading for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And next to hit for Detroit, Matt Veerling. He's already homered here in this one. That misses the zone and that is ball one. Two outs in there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Next pitch is downstairs. Devonez at second with two down. Fought off foul.
Man on second, two down. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. On the ground to the left, and that's just foul. That's out to center field, sizing this one up. And that's the inning. Tigers leave one, but they lead it 3 0. Back at Comerica Park. New inning getting started. Here's Corey Lee. Hanafi back to work. And there's a strike. On the ground, right side. On to first. One up, one down. Batting up. The center fielder, number seven, Dominic. So up next Fletcher. for Chicago, Dominic Fletcher. <laughs> Top of the zone for a called strike. Now one and one. One out, base is empty. Swings and misses. And it's one and two. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Diving, it gets down. Could be extra bases. Safe at second, he legs out the double. Dominic Fletcher with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming Boog you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Back to the top of the lineup. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat getting that first hit at the big league level. Swing and a miss. Strike one. One out and a runner at second. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Inside just missed. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. And yeah, the count one and two. At the belt and fires. Fights that one away, still one and two. The shortstop takes a ball. In the air, right side. Settles under it, and he makes the catch. And there are two down. Up next for the White Sox, the right fielder, Zach. And up next for Chicago, Zach Deloach. Singled and stole a base his first time. And a foul ball. Runner at second, two down. Two down. 
in the dirt. One ball, one strike. Next offering is outside. That's towards center on his way over. He makes the grab, and that's the third out. So one left for the White Sox. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. Set for the bottom of the third, and now the DH, Riley Green. The wind of the pitch. It's been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. And a pitch. And another ball. To the right side. Sends it over to Sheets. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. The left fielder, number 44, Justin Henry. Malloy. And next up for the Tigers, Justin Henry Malloy. 0 for 1 so far. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. The pitch. There's a swing and a drive. And it one hops the wall. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand up double. Justin Henry Malloy with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So, man aboard, and up next for Detroit, Wenzel Perez. Just missed. Malloy, the runner at second with one away. That missed inside. And yeah, that's ball two. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. The pitch. There's a strike. Two and one now. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Man at second. Foul ball. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. Runner at second here, one gone. Out to center. Corrals it. And there's two down. Now batting, first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. Spencer Torkelson up now for the Tigers. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Two outs. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play.
Next pitch is outside. 0 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. The 1 2 stays alive. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. And delivers outside. That misses. And that's ball three. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Man on second, two down. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. One left for Detroit, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Ben Intendi to start it off. Ben Intendi, the former first round pick, Golden Spikes Award winner. And a pitch. And that's outside. And that's ball one. Ben Intendi goes five feet, nine inches, 29 years old, a former first round pick back in 2015. Throw on to Torkelson. And Benintendi is out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now it's the DH. Andrew Vaughn struck out looking at his first at bat. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. And he grounds one to the right side. Boots it. And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score it. Andrew Vaughn with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And now the first baseman, Gavin Sheets. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0-1. The Tigers leading by three. Top half of inning number four. Pitch misses there, and one and one. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Left-hand hitter waits. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Righty delivers. Outside low. Two and two. Man at first, one away. High fly ball, right field. On the move to the alley. Perez squeezes it. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Second baseman. My name is Sosa. Man at first. And next to hit for the Sox, Lennon Sosa. He's 0 for 1. And he takes a strike. Yeah. 
and here it comes. That's off the mark. Now what a two. It's a good take. Two outs. And another ball. That misses. And it's three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Righty to the plate. Good job to fight that one off. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Ground ball left side. Throw on to Torkelson, and that will end the inning. The White Sox leave one. Still down 3 0. Welcome back, and they turn to a new arm as we kick off the bottom of the fourth. Garrett Crochet. Yeah, this is the best way to make your major league debut. No one on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous out there, so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. Trey Sweeney getting ready to hit. He popped out his first time. And ball one. Foul ball there. And the pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And one away. Here's the catcher, Jake Rogers. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And it's fouled away. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Lee snags it for the second out. The batter, the center fielder, Parker. Two outs, base is empty. And now here is Parker Meadows. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. That catches the corner. And it's even up. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. That's a strike. One and two. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Two down, nobody on. That one missed. In the air to left center. Benintendi is there. And that is that. Back here in Detroit. Top five. John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off. Brian Ramos. The right hander back to work. Fly ball down the line, under it. Puts it away for the out. Now batting, 
the catcher. Now it's the White Corey. Sox catcher, Corey Lee. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And another ball. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely. And I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. And that one is lifted in the air. Paris has a beat on it. Two down. The center fielder, number seven. Dominic, Dominic Fletcher steps to the plate for the White Sox. Doubled his first time up. Just off the outside edge, ball one. And that's in the dirt. The wide to kick the pitch. That one hammered, but pulled foul. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Struck him out looking. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the second baseman, Andy Abanez. The lefty fires. That one finds the zone. 0-1. Activity in the bullpen. Jonathan Cannon preparing to come on if needed. Number 59 also throwing. And that's off the inside edge. And the count is one and one. Wouldn't chase that time. Just off the inside edge. He swings and fouls one off. Three two now. That to right. Deloach drifts towards it. Puts it away for the out. The third baseman number eight. Matt, Matt Veerling up now for the Tigers. He's already homered in this game. That one catches the zone. That's strike one. And downstairs. Hammer down the right side, but foul. One down, base is empty. Fouls it off, still one and two. Out towards right center field. Tracks it down for the out. That's out number two. Now back, the designated hitter. Next is the Tigers DH, Riley Green. Right through there for a strike. That's a strike. Oh, a two down. Love how vocal the umpire is today. 
no doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind. And he chases that one. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Tigers fail to make any noise, but they lead it 3 nothing. And we're back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Stepping in, the White Sox leadoff man, Nicky Lopez. Here comes a pitch. That one finds the corner, and it's 0-1. You know, these White Sox just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. Just one extra base hit for them. That one is absolutely belted. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. And that's a leadoff double. Nicky Lopez with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Zach Deloach steps to the plate for the White Sox. One for two. First pitch, not close. Man at second. And that's off the inside edge. Two and oh. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Breaking ball inside. Three and one now. Sliced hard, but foul. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And that one hit to first. He steps on the bag. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Ben intending to the plate. You have to stay disciplined in these at bats. Try not to chase. A strikeout here is the last thing you want. Fastball for a strike. Activity in the bullpen for Detroit. Reese Olsen getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Colton also getting ready. In the air to left down the line. That one hops against the fence. The run scores from third and it's now a two run game. So he gets two milestones with that hit, his first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. And now it's going to be Andrew Vaughn. In the dirt, blocked. To third, tag, got him. Well, you want to see guys aggressive out there on the base paths, but you also want to see them smart as well in making their decisions. And right there, you couldn't really tell how far away that ball was. So if that's the case, you got to shut it down. He gets caught stealing there, takes himself out of scoring position.
A wind and a pitch. And that one pulled foul. 1-1 one, one now. Fought off foul. This one smoked out to left. Malloy makes the catch, and that'll do it. Sox get one on the RBI double. It's now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Comerica Park, bottom of the six. And yeah, the batter now, Justin Henry Malloy. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. Well, these Tigers, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent, hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That's back there. Tattooed to Tater Town and gone. And they tack one on the board. It's 4 1. Well, not every home run is a majestic blast off the bat, and even though he hit it pretty well, it was anything but a sure thing to get out. But today, the conditions were right. He got just enough of it, and I think the backspin really helped that thing carry. And stepping in is the speedy Wenzel Perez. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Nobody on, nobody out. Here in the bottom of the sixth. And that one fouled off. Oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. This to third. Tosses across the first. One away, bottom of the six. The first baseman, Spencer. Now it's going to be Spencer Torkelson. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. That's inside, and that's ball one. Just missed. And that's in for a strike. That one finds the zone, and it's two and two. And they'll do it again. Got him swinging. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Two outs, base is empty. Trey Sweeney up now for the Tigers. Splits the plate. That's strike one. Late with the swing there. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but... Now ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Solo shot for Detroit this inning. It's now a 4-1 ball game.
Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Reese Olsen. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Sheets in the box now. No balls and a strike. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. You got to find a way to shake it off. Go up there and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. Next offering upstairs. Right through there for a strike. The wide, the kick, and the one two. The punch out there, and now one away. Lennon Sosa, the next to hit. Right through there for a strike. Olsen goes six foot one. He features a slider, a four seamer, a sinker, a changeup, and he occasionally uses a curve. That's in there, and that's strike two. The White Sox trailing by three here at the top half of inning number seven. Goes down looking. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. Brian Ramos steps to the plate for the White Sox. Just missed. That's in there. And yeah, the count even at one. Good eye right there. Two outs. Right down to shoot. Two and two now. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And it's a one, two, three inning. Nothing doing for the White Sox. And they trail it 4-1. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jake Rogers. The pitch. That clips the corner. And it's one and one. That's a little bit low. Still two and two after the foul ball. Battling here as he fouls it away. And another ball. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of.
Meadows up to hit for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. And that's off the inside edge. And now 2 0. Oh. Bunting for a hit. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Next offering in there for a strike. Two and two. Got him. Two away. Back to the top of the Detroit order. Andy Abanez digs in now. There's a strike. Just missed. Down the left field line, could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. It's a double, and he's three for four tonight. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And next to hit for Detroit, Matt Veerling. And it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast as fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on. That one fouled hard the other way. Kicks and fires. And yeah, that's outside. Gonna count one and two. Runner at second, two down. Here at the bottom of the seven. Next offering way off the plate. Wouldn't chase that time. Riley Green to bat next. Payoff pitch. And yeah, there's ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Riley Green up now for the Tigers. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Fastball for a strike. 0 and 1. There it was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Kicks and deals. Outside low. And yeah, the count even 1 and 1. And another ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Devon Yens on second. Thierling on at first with two down. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Ramos drifts towards it. And that is the inning. Tigers strand a pair as they hold on to a 4-1 lead.
Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Bo Brisky on for his major league debut. So we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium. But the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher, whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw, and just let him lead you in this one. The pitch. Lee in the box again, takes the strike. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. And a swing and a miss there. Foul ball still a one and two count. Boils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Next one off the plate inside. Ball two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, not a whole lot behind that pitch. It's off speed, but it still stings. Getting hit by a fastball is a whole different story. Fletcher in the box for the third time today as he takes that one off the plate. Nobody out. Runner at first. To short could be two. Off balance feed. There's one. Back to first and that is a double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Nicky Lopez steps to the plate for the White Sox. Just off the outside edge. 1 0. Oh. And a big swing and a miss. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. Fights that one away, still one and two. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Aniel De Los Santos. This is his first appearance of the season. Here's the left fielder, Justin Henry Malloy. The left fielder, Justin Henry. And he deals. There's the strike. Popped up. Sizes this one up. Makes the grab one away. Now batting right fielder. Wenzel. Digging in. Wenzel Perez. One for three. On its way to the corner. Benintendi ranging after it. Two down. Now batting. The first baseman. Spencer Torkelson will hit next. First pitch just misses. 
movement in the bullpen. Jonathan Cannon appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Varland warming up as well. Up the middle. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. And that extends the inning. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Runner at first with two away at the plate. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Tigers leave one, but they lead it four to one. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Jason Foley. A chance at his first save of the year. Now the number two hitter, Zach Deloach. The pitch. And that's outside, and it's 1-0. Left field, sizing this one up. Makes the grab, one down. He's two outs away. Benintendi up here. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. And that one hit 97 on the gun. That's in for a strike. And the right hater deals. Swung on, belted. That one carrying. See you later. His first homer of the year, and they cut into the lead. It's 4 2. Just relentless. This team will not quit. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. One out, base is empty. Andrew Vaughn steps to the plate for the White Sox. And there's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Paris falls it in for the out. Two away. White Sox down to their final out. Gavin Sheets now at the plate. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. And yeah, the first offering is not close. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. They're down to their final strike.
The White Sox down to their final strike. Got him. And that is the ball game. Hanafi with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.